the all the big powerful cars and even a lot of the early cars, the, the drive was by chains. Okay. They didn't have a drive shaft that was capable of sustaining the torque that these engines have. Okay. So these aren't high horsepower cars. These are high torque cars. Yeah. So you, could, you couldn't have a shaft. Plus they had no real form of U-joint in the earliest times that could, could last for a while. Right. And then they created the U-joints and they had no bearings in the U-joints, but they would have uh, four squares of bronze on a, on, a, on a spider with four little rods on it. And then that would allow some U-joint action to happen. But what they needed back then too, they needed to lock the rear end to the transmission. They needed to lock it. So they couldn't have a drive shaft without having the supportive rods to keep the front end or to keep the rear end moving in the same plane to the transmission. Right, right. So that was just natural to have drive chains on the early cars and drive chains on the early powerful cars. Mm -hmm. And the drive chains for the early powerful cars, that lasted into the teens, like the Simplexes, mm -hmm. the Mercedes. They still had drive chains almost out of my era. 